So what we aim to do really is to democratize uh, VR for the enterprise. And so uh, we've created a platform and a bunch of tools that aim to enable um, companies, large and small, to really make use of this incredible new uh, format. It's really all about giving them control by providing some tools, an SDK, and a sort of collaboration platform so that they can create their own experiences, upload them to our platform with a single link, invite others to join them in that virtual space, and interact with whatever content they've, they have created. You can be the trainer in VR, and you can have 10 people watching in a browser anywhere in the world, and you can demonstrate something, or you can be the learner in VR, and you can have multiple people assembling something, getting it to work. So yeah, so I think the learning applications are pretty well established, um, but then I think our, our aim is to make that incredibly easy for the enterprise. So we're using sort of standard tools, uh, standard networking ports, so it, it just works. And the SDK aims to take all of the pain out of you know, finessing the interactions or figuring out how to make something work in a multiplayer environment. So we're just trying to continually lower the barrier to entry so that um, any company, large or small, can make use of, of VR as a platform. Right now we use uh, Unity Game Engine, which is, we think, um, the most widespread VR authoring tool. So our aim is to give uh, developers an SDK so that any project they're working on in Unity, they can apply our functionality. So you know, some of the, some of the um, interactions that we spent a long time uh, developing, uh, or crucially, the multiplayer element, um, you know, so that they can then craft an experience in Unity and then with a sort of simple click of the VR export button, they can create the assets that they then upload. Uh, once they're uploaded, then it's as simple as making a space, giving it a name and you get a link back. And you can send that link to anybody who has basically internet access. So you get some pretty interesting scenes where there'll be three people in VR, they can be anywhere in the world, uh, maybe they're Dis dismantling, uh, you know, a piece of equipment, and you can have other observers um, who can see exactly the same thing, change camera positions, talk to the people in VR, even send them content, uh, be it pictures or videos, those kind of things. So yeah, so it's uh, it's re really the flow is to create, uh, to collaborate, and then to track. Um, you know, we can actually then present reporting on what happens in those scenes and, and you know build a picture that we think is going to be very interesting to enterprise users. That's amazingly broad, uh, the industries that are interested in using VR. Uh, we continue to be surprised by that one in terms of the people approaching us. For example, Harvard uh, had an idea of using VR to teach physics and chemistry where um, you can actually interact with a, a particle beam or you can construct a molecule. So it really lends itself, you know, there's applications that we could never have foreseen that people are suggesting could be a really good application. So our aim continues to be create the tools that enable people to realize their, their ambitions. And, uh, you know, we don't want to be the limiting factor, we want to be the enabling factor. The sky's the limit with respect to applying uh, VR in the enterprise. It is an incredibly sort of adaptive technology and very much like the internet 20 years ago is, is beginning to find its way into all, all corners of uh, the way that we do business. So I think our aim is, is to enable companies to realize their ambitions with a, a fantastic set of tools and support so that they can bring to life their future in the end.